In this video, I wanna share how to astral project in just five minutes. Now, please stick with this whole video because I'm gonna not only explain the technique in five minutes, but the actual technique will take you five minutes when you actually do it. So this is gonna be a really powerful way to astral project, and it's gonna be a very simple thing for beginners as well. So if you're wondering how to astral project tonight or in five minutes time, this is the video for you. So the basic things you wanna do during the day, you wanna make sure you're meditating for about an hour or so. You wanna make sure that you're raising your vibrations as much as you possibly can. Doing things like meditating, going out in nature, grounding. You might wanna walk barefoot, for example. That's actually a really powerful way to release free radicals and toxins from your body. If you wanna to listen to binaural beats, I do have some on my site, they're linked in the description, but you wanna aim for listening to theta. Theta brainwave states are the best ones for astral projecting. So try and listen to binaural beats like that. And like I said, just focus on raising your vibrations for the whole day. So for this one day, you're gonna try this. For the whole day, so that when you actually do this, when you try the technique, it will only take five minutes. Don't eat any sugar. Don't consume any salt, any caffeine, tobacco, alcohol, stimulants. Don't consume any of that for just this one day. Anyone can do this just for 24 hours, right? I know it can be tough, especially if you're a coffee lover or if you smoke or whatever, or even if you just you know, you put a lot of salt on your food, a lot of sugar. Try not to do any of that for just this one day. At the same time, don't consume any negative media. <laughs> right, now I know, I know what you're thinking. Negative media is everywhere. How can you avoid it? You might ask. Well, turn off the radio, turn off the TV, and stop looking at the news websites. It's very simple when you just do those things. Also, social media. Don't consume any social media for this day. You want to raise your vibrations as fast and high as possible so that it's most likely your last will project in five minutes. Now, when it comes to the actual evening, here is what you need to do. For the last four hours of the day, don't look at any screens. In fact, you shouldn't have been looking at any screens anyway. This is kind of like a dopamine reset as well. You're gonna reduce your levels of dopamine so that you're more likely to astral project in the night or in the morning, early hours of the morning. Now you're gonna set your alarm, okay? But this time you're gonna set your alarm for about five hours, maybe even six hours, right? So that you're targeting your biggest or longest stage of REM sleep. When you target that stage, your hormones during that stage, remember you've got serotonin and melatonin. They're the main ones. There are some other ones, but they're the main sort of two that balance out sleep and awake. The more serotonin you have, the more awake you are. The more melatonin, the more asleep you are. And they sort of balance out. However, at about five in the morning, they move together and coexist. And you have what is called the sweet spot where your serotonin levels are, they've been flat all night and they're rising okay your melatonin levels are still high but they're dropping and so you get them crossing over like this okay and so at this exact sweet spot here you have enough serotonin to be more aware self-aware conscious and you know engaging your prefrontal cortex in more ways however you have enough melatonin in your system that it's easy to fall back asleep and this is why it's so powerful to astral project in that time. There are different types of astral projection. You can do it when you're asleep. You can do it when you're awake. This is gonna be an asleep one, okay? So the way this is gonna work in five minutes, you need to set your alarm for five hours, wake up, go back to sleep with the intention of astral projecting, okay? And as you go back to sleep, don't use a position you would normally fall asleep in. Use a different one. Let's say if you normally sleep on your side, go and sleep on your back. What this will do is it will just give you that difference that is enough to shock your mind and body into just doing, entering a different state, okay? Not just falling asleep and having a boring or random night's dreams. Instead, you're gonna fall asleep the intention, the strong intention of astral projecting out of your physical body and into the astral realm. It's incredibly powerful. And if you do this, if you actually do this experience and have this experience, okay? It's gonna be pretty powerful and you're gonna wake up or you know, come out of the experience, come back to reality, wondering what the hell just happened because you feel like you've just experienced another dimension and you have, okay? You have experienced the fourth dimension and higher dimensions if you can get to them. And to be honest, yeah, that is the easiest way I know to astral project in five minutes. The really important part to bear in mind here is you need to raise your vibrations during the day. If you don't do that, it's gonna be pretty hard for you to actually astral project and even if you do it, it won't last very long.